FIFA is in the spotlight as Palestine's Prime Minister asks for condemnation for the Israeli killing of a footballer. After a month off for the World Cup, school is in for thousands of students across the country. Could this be the first step for the Qatar 2022 legacy? Stick around for more. And finally, football fans, fear not, there's just weeks left until the next tournament. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Palestine's Prime Minister Mohammed Shatea has called on FIFA to condemn Israel for the killing of Ahmed Daragma, a Palestinian footballer. Daragma was killed during an Israeli army raid in Nablus. He was shot in the back and feet by live rounds before succumbing to his wound. The incident occurred just days after the globe celebrated the end of the World Cup. This is just the latest in a string of Israeli violence targeting Palestinian athletes. Bells are ringing once again for students at public school. They mark the start of the second semester of the 22-23 academic year. Thousands of students returned to their classrooms earlier today after a month off for the showpiece tournament held in Qatar. All schools were closed earlier than usual to accommodate the historic World Cup being held in the Gulf state. Now, buses used to transport fans around Qatar for the 2022 FIFA World Cup are already and set to be donated to Lebanon by the World Cup hosts. That's according to Lebanese media, who said talks between officials on both ends are well underway. The move will support Lebanon's transport sector and comes as part of the Gulf state's plans to donate World Cup-related infrastructure to developing nations. And finally, it's on to the the next football tournament. Tickets for the Arabian Gulf Cup are now officially on sale and they're going fast. This year's edition of the regional tournament will be held in the Iraqi city of Basra, which has opened up its borders to fans of the region. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.